that fear of God creeps in, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why this country's so screwed up. Because people aren't God-fearing. And I don't mean you're going to find God in one of these fake churches. Anybody who's God-fearing knows what I'm talking about. You want justice. You want prosperity. You want to help people. You want to build things up. And they use the ignorance of God-fearing people to support open borders and saying it's for the kids. That's part of a larger globalist plan. That's why I'm against it. Not because I'm against those kids fleeing Guatemala, one of the greatest hell holes on earth. They're not bringing them here to save them. They're bringing them here to bring the country down. And I've supported the Border Patrol, a constitutional agency under attack. When police are in the right, I support them. When they're in the wrong, I don't. And I studied this for 22 years, and I know what I'm talking about. We got Joe Biggs, Jakari Jackson, and Josh Owens all there who got tear gas flashbanged and shot with rubber bullets. Biggs got shot with rubber bullets. The others got hit with everything but that. But the larger system, you got to pull back if you're a black racist, and, and, and I got to say, stop being a mindless idiot, being manipulated by tribalism. You got to pull back if you're a white racist and see the larger manipulation and not be a mindless primitive. You got to scientifically see the battle space for what it is. If you're a cop, all hopped up in mob mentality, tired of getting being yelled at for three days because you're telling folks to back off and pointing guns at them. See, cops, when you point lasers at innocent people with their hands up 70, 80 meters away, almost 100 yards away, <coughs> they start yelling at you and getting angry. When you shoot reporters with tear gas and rubber bullets like Al Jazeera and point laser dots on Al Jazeera, you cause the same situation. And that's what I said. What they're doing, according to, listen, the military, when they want to stir people up, they send in troops with orders to do stuff like this. When they want to pacify a population, they do the opposite. Joe Biggs you know, did that on three or four tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. He knows that it's a basic military system. This is military system to stir people up and start riots all over the country and play the public off against the police and the military to start a civil war. And to make the poster boy for the civil war, stupid ghetto rats with their pants hanging down around their ankles to then sell that image of the police and military crushing them to bring in permanent martial law. And I've been telling you, the number one way they'll bring in martial law is to get riots stirred up around the country by the illegals and blacks and poor whites and others. Now, I'm going to skip the network break. This is so important. And go to our reporters. And then they'll stage terror attacks in the next phase, claiming the Tea Party did it, and go after their political enemies. They're already censoring us on Facebook and Twitter. They're already suspending our Twitter accounts. They're already not letting us put out a lot of tweets. I couldn't tweet last night. They're already stopping me sharing video links to Joe Biggs getting shot with rubber bullets. And the police announced, we're going to play this clip in a moment. Turn off your cameras. Two Literally 15 news trucks we counted, Al Jazeera, Washington Post, New York Times, USA Today, Washington Times, Infowars.com. I mean, there is over 100 different press groups out there, over 100. And more than 15 that were willing to be out there. And our guys were up there about 100 and something yards away. Then they backed off to 500 yards. I've talked to the reporters. And they, the, 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 the armored vehicles that we were told were for Al-Qaeda, I told you about it for the First Amendment, rolled out. Decepticons roll out. Attack the First Amendment. Target freedom. These are supposedly the good guys with flashbangs and rubber bullets and tear gas shot directly at news crews. And then they chase them down with AR-15s, ladies and gentlemen, shooting people in the back. I, I mean... I'm not macho, ladies and gentlemen, but let me just tell you something. I'm getting to the point that I'm going to throw up. And cooler heads have got to prevail. We've got to keep our powder dry and not respond with these police who don't know they're the bait on the hook to start a civil war. The cops on the ground being ordered by the feds to do this have no idea. 
the us against them mentality. This is a government with a 7% approval rating. They are, they are more unpopular than Kim Jong-un in U.S. polls. They've actually done one with Kim Jong-un in it, and he's more popular than this government. Now, again, I'm going to tell the military and police something. When they're done waging their war against you know, poor folks in the ghetto, who will then take advantage of the burning and stuff to loot stuff, that will then be projected onto the press and anyone that doesn't follow orders. And then they're going to start censoring the Internet even more. Talk about evil. Tear gassing, rubber bulleting, mainline news reporters, arresting Washington Post reporters, Huffington Post reporters, you name it, and then attacking people and attacking their news cameras. This is, this is a dictatorship. And Obama, the UN was involved. NAACP says Michael Brown shooting front and center at the United Nations and the UN says Obama's doing a great job. That's right. And now Obama is about to legalize 30 million illegal aliens and, and if they give them the order, they'll go out and riot. And then the military will come save us. And the precedent is set to see, well, we stopped all the rioting by shutting down your Twitter and your Facebook and, 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 and attacking even mainstream press. And people in military uniforms in McDonald's arresting Washington Post reporters. We're going to play all these videos and then go to our reporters literally standing in front of signs that have holes in them from rubber bullets right where Biggs was hit. But first, let's go for radio and TV viewers. If you're a radio listener, go to Infowars.com forward slash show, free video feed. If you want to see it in higher def and see the subscription nightly news, subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv. It's $5.95 a month. You get all 11 memberships for $5.95 to share them. We have to have PrisonPlanet.tv because they can censor us on YouTube and other places. By the way, we've not been censored on YouTube yet. Twitter and Facebook are beginning to censor us and suspended some of our accounts last night. Only turning them on last night. I mean, this morning. I mean, I am just completely freaked out right now because I know how the PSYOP works and we're seeing it happen. And we see folks on Infowars.com and on our YouTube comments going, why are you anti-police, Alex? You know, you know, why are you siding with the riots? You need to be arrested. We're following the IP addresses back to government servers, back to military bases, back to the Justice Department with bots. Because you'll notice on our YouTube videos, we have 98 to 99% positive votes. We'll have 3,000 up votes and 25 negative votes. So your bots can't vote on YouTube. But you're there creating the perception that I need to be arrested. And again, I need to get a report out on this. I want enough reporters to write about all this as it happens in the battle space. This is happening so fast. We have government servers posting on InfoWars. We can't track it on YouTube, but it's the same comments that I need to be arrested for inciting riots when I'm trying to do things that will stop a riot. The police under federal control are doing things that, according to basic military technology and, and systems, will cause a group to revolt. And you got whites out buying guns mainly in record records now, and it's spreading across the country in fear of Watts riots and all the rest of it again. You see how this is all orchestrated? to get everybody against each other while the globalists loot the treasury, while the globalists put fluoride in all our children's water. Let's go to the incredible footage shot by Josh Owens of Jakari Jackson and Joe Biggs reporting, and you can hear them on the loudspeaker saying, turn off your cameras. Now remember, California just passed a bill, and it's already in all the new cell phones, to have automatic kill switches when they hit one button, citywide or nationwide, to turn your phone off and all you can get is Obama government messages, or they can turn your, uh, your phone on to track you, but nothing else. This is a government who premeditatedly loaded NSA control systems, just like in your smart meters, which they now admit to control everything you do. CIA director three years ago told Wired Magazine, your washing machine and your dishwasher are listening to you. That All the new dishwashers have microphones by federal law. Tear them open. People don't believe me. In fact, I want to tear open a Scientific Atlantic cable box 
I want to tear open it. I want to go buy one at the store and tear the damn thing open on TV because that's the only thing that'll wake up the primitives out there. And I mean black, white, all of you. You act like a bunch of primitives where you sit there and the enemy openly announces what they're doing. There it is. CIA chief will spy on you through your dishwasher. The connects, all of it, connects for five years can look through up to 10 walls in your house. They can look at your neighbors through a connect. They can, they can, they can through vibrations on your window, pick up vibrations on the neighborhood window vibrating and have HD audio of you in bed with your wife off your neighbor's connect a thousand yards away with the digital algorithms. Do you understand? It's not run by a benevolent, loving government that did all this to help you. They are putting nanotech cancer viruses in the major vaccines that implant in your DNA and are hormone released, where they can either spray you with a hormone through the food or water to activate the cancer, it's a binary weapon, or it triggers, depending on which system, when you hit age 60. You like being murdered? Oh, the police are here to help us. The police are compartmentalized and don't know anything like the public. We know the enemy operation. We have reverse engineered it. You ignore what I say at you and your family's total peril. You are living in a hardcore science fiction movie. Everything I just told you is on record if you simply go and look it up. They're already giving the troops without asking them a anti-aggression or anti-depression injection with a live virus that then attacks neurons in areas of the brain associated with higher brain waves, spiritual experiences, love and hate, so you're not upset anymore. They're already putting brain chips in troops. They already chipped special forces 20 years ago. They already started chipping the officers five years ago. I knew about it from army officers in my family before it was in the news. You're not gonna hear that from your whorehouse Mega church here in Austin, Texas. You're not going to hear it because they're government agents now. And all you idiots that serve the system that think you're part of it, we're going to break, coming back with our reporters, you're going to find out soon. Joe Biggs, Jakari Jackson, Josh Owens coming up. Let's go to these clips. Here's the audio. Please turn off the radio. What did they say? I think they say, please turn off your video. That's what it sounded like to me. Did they just tell us to turn off, stop filming? I think that's what they said, honestly. Sounded like this is now for They told us to turn off our report. Trapping everybody in? They tried to. Front line of the info war, Joe Biggs, Jakari Jackson, Josh Owens, the front line as they LRAD sound weapons. They said it would never be used against really us. Hurting my ears, though. Used against Iraqis. Oh my God, they're coming at us right now. They're coming at us right now. Now, you heard the right, woman's voice. That's good. Come back tomorrow. All right, flashbangs going off. Then they target with rubber bullets and tear gas the crews. Now, now this is from Jakari. Right in front of him is the Al Jazeera crew doing their job. During the Watts riots, during the L.A. riots in the 60s, the Watts riots in the early 90s, the L.A. riots, they never targeted press. The police would never think of that. Under federal orders, now, now this is from the perspective of, of, of Josh Owens, Jakari Jackson, and Joe Biggs. Let's now go to the footage shot from across the street of your TV viewer. I'm describing it for radio listeners of, of a still camera hidden in the bushes. Somebody hiding in the bushes getting paramilitary police under federal command with MRAPs that were in Iraq saying back off, get, you know, leave, and then firing tear gas at the, at, the, at the mainstream media and then going up and firing rubber bullets at them in an assault on everything. And by the way, this is to take our bank accounts, pension funds. They're putting this in place because they're going to break the country once and for all. These cops, their parents, their kids, they, they will lose everything too. But they won't care because they'll still have a uniform and can strut around in the third world we're going to be. They won't know because it'll be done over the years. So understand, the, the, the police following the orders like Katrina with the military... In fact, go, guys, pull up gun confiscation, Katrina. It's the NRA video. It's ABC News. I want to play that later if we talk to the reporters. So people always deny that. They went to the high and dry areas, used the poor people in the 8th Ward as the excuse for martial law, went into the high and dry areas 10 miles away, went into $5 million houses, blew open safes, stole all the guns, and handcuffed rich people.
So all you racist white people that are sending us texts saying, how dare you side with monkeys and all this other racist crap, you're idiots. They're going to come in your house and take everything you got, and they're going to take you to a FEMA camp. They're going to rape your wife.